Mary is our flower child. Hawaii's answer to James Brown. Hello everybody, it is Old Soul Radio time here at Mutiny Radio uh, tonight. Uh, it's me, I'm uh, DJ Jima, and usually would have Professor Gable uh, co-hosting as well, but tonight uh, we're going to flip the tables a bit because we got an interview with The Watershed. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm being host, co-hosted by... Can you can you introduce yourself, co-host? Can you say that again? Can you hear me now? All right. Well, my name is Cy Four. I'm the co-host tonight with Jima. See what's good with this watershed shit. Let's crack it. And uh, can we have uh, the other people, the interviewees, introduce oh, themselves, yeah. please? Uh, special guest right here. My name is Monk HTS. I'm a San Francisco degenerate. Um, <laughs> 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 no, uh, I'm an artist uh, out of the Watershed Collective. You know what I'm saying? Uh, producer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Welcome. And we also got. Hello. Um, <laughs> my name is uh, my name is Professor Gable. Um, I rap with the Watershed, and tonight we're here as the Watershed. The yep. Yeah, we got the a couple watershed. more people coming in a little bit. We do. Right. They're coming. Um, right now it's just me and Monk, but we, yeah, we we're we'll pretty here. sure there'll what, be more here. Who who are all the members of the Watershed collectively? Okay, so pretty much it's <laughs> me, Monk, Liam, Satchel, Equipto, Brycon, Martin. Right. Did I miss anybody? So, so Is that seven people? Did I say seven names? Just about it, son, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that, yeah, uh, but on the Extremic, on the album, yeah. it says uh, Equipto and Brycon present. So is that something that one of them came up to you individually, and you're like, like I want to, I'll ask them about how they, you know, how it became like that. But I want to know your side, like how did it get approached to you guys? Well, they kind of were the main people, like spearheading Brycon, like kind of spearheaded the music side of it and the recording and getting everything together regarding that. Uh, Equipto on the on like the you know like he kind of gathered everybody together like as a, as a whole you know what i mean like you know because he was he was doing a lot of building with gable he was doing a lot of building with brycon everybody we were we were all were building you know with each with each other and stuff like in separate stuff but you know kind of decided just to bring it together but gable kind of got a he got a dope uh perspective of how it comes together too i'm like right. Yeah, yeah. How'd it happen for you? <laughs> I, th- <laughs> I think that was a good way to p- describe it, Monk. Um, you know, the watershed is definitely just, it definitely came together over time. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, it wasn't like one thing that was planned, I'd say. You know, I mean, well, no, it actually was. But like, we like made the album kind of naturally you know right. what I mean yeah, like, hello we, organically yeah, yeah. Right. No, we weren't like we're gonna make a groove in an album that's yeah. what this is we were like let's get together and like let's do shit together you know what I mean like we like fuck with each like, other yeah, yeah. so like, it, it was a while a go to stuff. events like go to each other's events you know right. what I mean like naturally yeah, formed partnerships too. that's yeah, what I was yeah, just gonna so. say very like you know very it was definitely like stem from that um Social activism standpoint, too, right, right. You know what I mean, so, like that time of right. like Mario Woods and yeah, you because know you, you share a lot of common and, themes with your music, and you guys right. are a lot of you know. There's yeah. a lot of uh, connection there, yeah. but um, so uh, when when so when you started, was it like when it came together? Was it already just a lot of stuff that you guys have kind of already been working on? And you're like, hey, you know, we kind of got all this like stuff. Let's put it together, you know. Or was it like, um, was it like, you know, what we we do want? At what point was it like we do want to do this album? And we're like, we're gonna write to it. Like how? Like were you guys all together at the same time writing it? Um, was it all like, oh yeah, like he sent me this beat. This will be really cool. Like, you know. 
Yeah, definitely. Um, some of it was like like my, a lot of my verses I kind of emailed. Some mm. of them I, I was there in the right. studio, mm-hmm. right. but uh, a lot of it was kind of there. Everybody was just sitting there, just writing right. in the studio, man. Right. Like like you could tell Timmy the Wino. Right. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. the the yeah, uh, the cohesiveness the cohesiveness yeah. within that like is just and how they how the thread of it and like how they go back and forth with the story is just mm-hmm. like yeah. you could tell like they right. had to be sitting in the studio you can't really email that yeah so, yeah true yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. definitely right. something you gotta write right there together absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like it's a, that. I mean, that one. It sounded like something like oh, because because I wanted to ask about that. Um, yeah. Is like who is Timmy? Because I'm I'm listening to. I'm like this could either be a person that they're like oh yeah I know this fool remember him Timmy's or actually a person right it, yeah, yeah. Okay. Timmy, what, Timmy is a person who used to you, you should ask E when he gets here but right, he, used to, yeah. he used to kick it on 16th of Valencia I think and you know he was just a very like. Uh, 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 important presence of that area of San Francisco you know what I mean and it was kind of the song was about people like him you know yeah. what I mean who like who like raise people in a way you know what I mean like mm-hmm. with their energy like yeah. out yeah. there you yeah. know what I mean and like you know not overlooking these people but like loving them you know right. what I mean right. that's, right. that's a fucking really about. dope song for yeah. sure yeah. Man. I really fuck Thank with that you. shit yeah yeah it's trippy cause like I had like a, the same kind of I had a weird epiphany the other night, like after the watershed show, right. after our release party, we all went to eat, right? And yeah. um, like with the outbound and stuff or whatever, we're at right. Mason Cafe, and then this homeless lady walks up to our table. She's, you know, she you could tell she's like, you know, doped out and stuff or whatever, you know what I mean? And she's kind of, you know, she she looks really bad, but she's like, yo, I'm hungry, so we're we're like, all right, we'll, we'll order you food. She's like, no, I need money. And we're like, nah, we'll we'll order you food, like whatever you want, we'll get it for you. And then, and then you know, my homie tried to he gave her some pancakes, and she just grabs the pancakes and just squeezes them with her hands. Uh. And then she just like she just bugs out, like she just like flips out, like yeah. literally, and just she like starts crying at the table. It's like I need money, I need money, and yeah. I'm hungry. And I was just like, whoa. So you know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I just kind of made me realize and check my privilege and like, you know what I'm saying? I was just yeah. tripping. I was like, so. damn, like. Yeah. You know, it's, it's it's crazy out here, man. But yeah. but yeah, but uh even Timmy the Wino is just like the 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 neighborhood uh you know, the neighborhood dude is just sitting around there, you know what I mean? He kicks game to everybody. Yeah, he's got, the right. yeah, he got all the game. wisdom in the world, like but that's yeah. the thing, it's crazy because they like those type of folks, they never really apply it to themselves, but they could give the best advice. That's what I felt from the whole song, right? It was just yeah. like that shit it was just like, you know, I got you. But I don't even got myself. Like, exactly. Shit, you know bro. what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, every, in every neighborhood in Frisco, there's one of those people. Exactly. Right? Or a couple yeah. of those people. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like in the Excelsior, I remember back in the day when I was young, there was people like that. Off at top, Crocker, bro. like all just chilling there, drinking beers and smoking weed yeah. and shit. You know what I mean? Like, Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not trying to influence you or pull you into <laughs> it. But you're like, look, so like, don't, yo, do, don't do, do this. Do this whoop, whoop, you know, like, you know, talking yeah. to me, you know? Like, be careful doing that type of shit. Like, you know? Right. I remember that shit But like you know That's a very Frisco thing I know, I For yeah. sure yeah. Every neighborhood bro Yeah Every yeah. neighborhood in Frisco For sure yeah. Well, I was gonna say I was. I think that's what I was taking from it was it was it kind of felt like uh, I don't know figurative or metaphorical. Like there's a person you could have known, but also like it's like this one person that stands to like represent all of that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like all yeah, those I groups of people too. that exactly, like you know man. like even in the song it was like oh you know like he's just sitting there and people you know people pass and he gets looked over and it's like yeah. that's shit that happens yeah, yeah, you know yeah. and those are the people that sometimes you're just hanging out at the park and you listen to them and you're like yeah. oh shit these are people I'm listening to yeah know? I remember reading an article where it was like uh what was it it was it was saying like how this person was like dead in the doorway frozen overnight right like you know what i mean like right. and people everybody would just walk everybody was just walking over this person like they don't right. even like you know what i mean and that just shows yeah. you like the the uh just the disconnection that yeah, we have the, with association yeah, with shit, yeah. yeah and it's just like damn that we don't even it's like check up. on people when they're yeah. like this month it could be hey. dead on the concrete yeah right we don't even check in tap yeah. in or nothing we just walk Step right over this person like they're inhuman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's, yeah. yeah that shit is hella fucked up, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, bad. yeah, I mean, like you also hear or read about like how people come here and they're like going downtown there in these hotels and then they're like, 
you know, again, like complaining about how there's like all, you know, all these people that are just around because, you know, that's that's what they do. They're just the people that are hanging around. And they're like, what the fuck? You know, like yeah, thought yeah. it was supposed to be like this, you know, but like, you know, I was just getting pushed out. And, but, you know, that that's that's a whole almost another story. But uh, but hey, uh, yo, uh, Crypto yeah, just walked into the building right now. Yeah, we got a couple new additions to the studio. Just to the, into the radio station one time. Uh, turn his mic on out there. What number? Is, oh, S. Uh, Shout out, cousin Dev. What's up with a Dev? Eric. You want to test it out for us, E? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, my can you hear God. It yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it. Is it bad, though? You can hear it. No, you're good. You're good. I hear you. And we face the other way so it doesn't feed back. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Well, welcome. Welcome. Uh, welcome. What's up? Whose pupusa is that over here? You want that shit? You can kill it. It's cheese. Cheese. Uh, All right. Let's go munching on pupusa. Um, uh, yeah, so we are talking about Timmy the Wino just now. Um, and... Uh, Back in the uh, back in the kick it in the park days, right? Um, so like, uh, I guess now that a few more people are here, what I want to ask, um, you know, since talking about San Francisco, that's obviously just a huge part of this album. It's like you know, that's the backdrop of where it is, where it's set. Um, you know, all the sounds. You know, every every sample is like relevant and uh um i want to know what it seemed like you were all trying to capture something about san francisco i mean throughout the albums like different elements but it all kind of cohesively seemed like one kind of image or like a time or like a, a, a mood that you guys had and uh yeah. you know what um what kind of did you want to show people about san francisco you know i th i think that um Given the different, you know, the different... Um, you mean, like, individually? What individually, do we want to... Individually, because, you know, there's all these, like, generational gaps or, like, you yeah. know, there's people who've done things in different places, you know? So, like, I guess for you personally, too. I feel like I kind of wanted to give uh, proof of what is there because it's not visible. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, mm. yeah. Right, right. Like, I feel like it's there. It's just, if you don't know it, you won't see it. Mm -hmm. What's course, there? Yeah. Just the the San Francisco, from, like right. like you know what I mean. The the right. the person that comes out of San Francisco, like the the way that it feels because of who's there. You know what I mean, like mm -hmm. because of what happened, mm -hmm. because of what's happening. Right. You know what I mean, like right. I wanted to like show that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Um. And I mean. Do you, do you, is question, any, my bad. No, it's just uh like um like every the whole album it's it felt like you were like you're talking about a lot of change that's going on in the city uh -huh. um and, but it seemed like while you're doing that you're trying to reiterate a specific image of the city in your mind mm -hmm. like you're just trying to say like you know yeah. this is what it is you know like and what's that image for you you know like a lot of um i know professor when he, he's like you know 14 on the 14 yeah. you know like doing yeah. all that shit you know like specific vibes of what it used to be you know? exactly like yeah. when that's the specific line that 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 definitely like connected with me because like mm. i just remember that was the, the 14 was like the line that we just like we ran rampant on right. like dude like that was, was yeah. like, like you could see it's like any given uh, moment like yeah. you could yeah. catch me and my crew like we'd be like 50 deep on the 14 right. yeah. Bom like bombing a whole bus you know right, what I'm saying right. like 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 I'll jump on the front of the bus like, yeah. just tag on it right in front of the bus yeah. driver like yeah. we wouldn't care yeah. so that's like you know what I mean that 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 90s graffiti mm. era you know what i'm saying right, that, right. that that's definitely like you know and then also i got like certain like other things like you know i was kind of in the you know i was in the streets and shit man mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so like i got that side as well and i mm -hmm. try to reflect that you know what i mean right because i mean it's not it's it's a part of me that i can't really turn away you know what i'm saying i gotta like in order for me to heal that 
past you know what I'm saying I gotta be yeah. able to talk about that and be able to yeah like uh, let that go embrace you know that saying? shit like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly sure. yeah absolutely um, and like so what are I guess I don't know let me let me know if it's too vague of a question but uh, you know you're saying you're talking about like a 90s vibe and stuff mm-hmm. so like what kind of what are some of the biggest changes that you're trying to that has happened since then that you're trying to address with this Album. Um, gentrification, man, mm-hmm. in San Francisco right. is probably with the biggest change, man. Right. And, um, um, like socially, I feel like there's a like, like as far as social justice and shit like that, mm-hmm. a lot, nothing's really changed because we never right. really got any. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Social justice. You know what I'm saying? Right. But as far as gentrification, at least at, back in the day, we were able to withhold, uphold our our culture out here in our neighborhoods and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like now it's not even like the only time we get to uphold our cult our, our neighborhood and our culture is mm-hmm. is is carnival which right, we, right. we use just that right yeah. now you yeah, know what yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that like the only time we get to like yeah. like freely do that without motherfuckers looking at us like you know what i'm saying right like right yeah it's like hovering over us looking hella weird and yeah you know or the hipsters looking at us crazy and shit yeah yeah you know like what are they doing yeah and I, I i also wanted to lead into that like going to carnival this year like um, how did you feel about it this year compared to you know maybe years of the past? You know, is it going a certain direction? I, I like it. I like it? it because like I see a lot of the people I grew up with with booths. They're being entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, right, and, right. And they're not like waiting for handouts from all these people. They're, right. they're out there okay. working. They're busting their ass. Right, and right, you know what right. I mean? They're getting their companies off the ground and they're mm-hmm. doing their thing, man. So it's good to, and and good to see a lot of people that were doing other things mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like right, right, you know what right. I mean in other worlds and shit and yeah. now they got this shit together and they're they're on a straight and narrow and they're right. like doing good things now right yeah exactly man as it used to be like like seeing uh, I guess seeing the growth of everybody that you came up with too like you know just the people around it's like oh shit like we've really moved up and come stepped up and stuff yeah yeah um let me say something real quick. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. With the next question. <laughs> I think like with the watershed and the project and everything, it's like the, the a letter to San Francisco, right? And it's heavily San Francisco involved. And I remember when we were first talking about it, you know what I'm saying? Like some years ago, of the idea of the watershed and what the project could be. And we were talking about analogies of how like, when you listen to the chronic, you into LA life. You, you, you kind of, you don't even have to go to LA once and you kind of know at yeah. least the world they're bringing you into. You put on the Wu Tang, exactly. thirty six yeah. chambers, and you understand what New York is kind of like. Oh shit, you know what I mean? Like yeah. through yeah. the skits and through the lyrics and just through right. the attitude, yep. and through just yep. genuinely. It's not in the, it. So that's what it was like. We wanted to like how Timmy the Winer was probably one of the, like the third or second song we recorded just to have to set that tone in a sense. Like oh, you know, bringing people into someone that's you know someone from San Francisco that people might overlook or somebody like. Definitely. But you know, it's like that's what happened through years. Like this is like a two year in the making project. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like, so it's like and Brycon is like a lot he's responsible for kinda like spearheading and making sure we stayed on that path mm-hmm. and started because like a lot of us, including Brycon, was you know, working with other projects. All of us are always staying busy with other things, but so it's easy to be like, you know what? put the watershed thing on the back burner for a minute or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, right. but mm-hmm. he pushed us in order to be like, you know, we're almost there. We just need something like this. Or, you know, we need something like this. This would be dope if we did this. And you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, he definitely so it's kind of like, you know, we kind of not like lost faith in it, but it's just like, we're so busy, everybody working, but it's like the watershed just came genuinely out. Like at the end of the day, I listened to it when it was all done and then then tripped off it you know yeah. like we definitely mm-hmm. wanted to leave a mark for frisco but like it was just like like when one of the critics and one of the j- journalists said like it's an open heart letter to san francisco you know what i mean like, wow. you know, every yeah. song, you know, like yeah. every song you can hear wide eyed child from every song that ain't even you think affiliated with frisco if you listen to the lyrics and mm-hmm. the references of landmarks and certain things it's yeah. just like it is what it is it's just there and it's like and it is like what you want to give the people, like like you know, Gable was saying, like um, it's what's not here that you can't see, 
You know what I'm saying? But you can hear it, and that's what we're trying to put in the music. You know what I mean? It's kind of like when you hear it, you hear the last the last three percent. You hear right. the people in the body, yo. You hear everybody, the, what's going on and what's left here, and what people be like, man, ain't nothing out here. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, the, uh, yeah, like, you know, going off of the whole, you know, letter to San Francisco thing and, like, um, how you're talking about just the origins and your, like, your roots here and stuff, um, how do you think the change of this of the city has affected the the music culture behind it and stuff? And I know I know E, you have like one line. You're like you know like social media is not the platform, you know. And I, I, to me, I was like a, saying like you know the music culture has changed into something. Uh, you know, I don't know which way necessarily you were going with it. And I wanted to you know ask about like how it's kind of changed and like what the change of the city means for the change of the music coming out of the city. Right. I mean, so. Um it's a trip because it's there's still like to me there's a bunch of bullshit and there's a bunch of followers and it happens you know it's just young we all went through that and to what's hot or what's popular so now it's a different thing like you know um and social media it's just like a seller like you know like deceiving you know like mm. you know you get to think you know people or you know things and and stuff like that so it's that's why, like, I kind of said it's just not a platform to really, like, when it comes to, like, social justice and certain mm. things. It's, it's cool for, like, you know, whatever, like, spreading the word on certain things. But as far as, like, using, using that as, like, a pedestal and to, like, to separate yourself from the people. And that's what, what the world we're in, you know. Like, in anything, like, anything, like, when it comes to sports, politics, music, you know, all that is just, it's the same of, like, trying to get accepted mm. you know like and that's right. it's just extreme it's always it's always been that just like that's peer pressure you know what i mean that's regular life type shit but it's such at an abundance right now you know what i mean like with everybody and like hip-hop being the number one thing in the world right now you know it's like right it's a different you know it's a and that like hip-hop back in the day like to us it was like yeah there was you know belligerent shit and was, but it was always like something like to us if, if hip hop was the number one thing then there would be real there would there would have been black power you know mm. like that's how we looked at it because it was poor righteous teachers and public enemy or x clan and you know it was like right. to us that was the goal self-destruction you know like so with hip hop being number one now and, the, and the, like that's not even in the picture as far as like you know of course there's kendrick and, and everything and you know j cole and certain things like mm. that like that's dope as hell but mm -hmm. it's just not the norm they're, they're look, you know, they're like doing great, but it's like shocking that they're doing great. Like, whoa, they're doing great without no features. It's like, yeah, that's, right. shit. yeah. that's real. That should be happening. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like it shouldn't be such a like a, a shock to people, but that's the kind of world we live in. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I mean, I think you know, as artists and everybody, you utilize things in the right way. There's good and bad, just like regular media. There's good and bad, and social media, mm -hmm. it's it's just harder for, you know, different generations and just people to. Uh, you know, like get along. I guess you know what I mean. It's like it's it, to me. It just sets situ, like situates everybody in categories and like you know it just puts people in pedestals. Right. It's, it's that's dangerous. You know what I mean. Like right. And um, yeah. So uh, and I guess I'll open up to kind of anybody now. Um, what what kind of um, you know through all that change and like all the things that's been lost. Like, do you see any developments that you really like so far like maybe in terms of when you put this album out the reception it got and you're like wow this is still here like you know and it, you know or because of these changes that are going on we wouldn't be able to do these certain things you know what i mean like any good change that could, has come out so far i feel like this album is a good thing that's right. come out yeah. okay yeah yeah, so. yeah 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 definitely yeah man i mean uh as far as like I mean we've been definitely getting a really good reception towards our right. album yeah. and a lot of people that have like like given feedback and just like really listened to it and mm -hmm. they really like kind of resonate with the message on the album mm -hmm. it's pretty dope yeah. man right yeah, yeah yeah I feel sorry real quick I feel like also like um, you know it's it's a it's a special time right now like with ETC and mm. You know what I mean? Everything that happens in the community, like, you know, 
it that it, that in the past like three years it's we've all been together a lot you right. know what i mean yeah. like for a lot of reasons very very bad and very good you right. know what i mean but like we know that we're there right now for each other you know right. what i mean like i think that's a dope thing about this time yeah, too yeah oh yeah. yeah a lot of this you know it's just beautiful things sometimes come from tragedies you know like we wouldn't <clears throat> if like a lot of that a lot of that, you know, if Mario Woods didn't get murdered mm -hmm. and a lot of things, and you know, a lot of the gentrification wasn't happening and mm -hmm. like, you know, Francisco wasn't running for mayor, maybe like we wouldn't be hanging like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this right. or whatever, you know, like certain incidents right. brought us into each other's life right. and right. they weren't good incidents. You know what I mean? Like right. as far as that. So it's like, we're like, we have to stand for that testament. You know, that's what yeah. it means too. It's like our Absolutely. relationship came through, yeah. you know, strife and through Mama Woods that has to live with that every day. Like we bonded through that. And that's what, I mean, I know that's how, to my age and to my level of being involved in this is more or less, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how you gain someone's trust. Mm -hmm. And able to go on and during a friendship, you know what I mean? Like, how many people gonna have your back when you know you're getting arrested, or who's gonna call your mom, or who's gonna tell you this, or who's you know? It's like there's certain things that need to be understood when you step onto a certain playing field, you know what I mean? Like, and mm -hmm. I think that's kind of what brought it about. Like, if you could hear it even in the lyrics now that I look back and things, you know, it's just like organ, you know. Wasting time trying to find people to take some action, organize one, folks this down to make it happen. You know, yeah, like it was that sure. was done like two year and a half ago or something. Right. Yeah, and so, I guess it's, yeah. it's another element of like how this project came together so naturally, right? Like that all those other circumstances just brought y'all together already and everything. Yeah, um, so organically, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, do you. Do you guys want to play a song? No, it's you know. We could, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you, is there a song that you guys want to hear? You want to play first or? What? Who? Which what one? What song? You Any song? Uh, sign of the times. Sign. Uh, uh, new astrology. New astrology. Produced by McStravick. Yeah, that's a good one. Have you guys been uh, enjoying performing? Oh yeah, uh, these shows. That's I know a whole other conversation. Yeah, we true. We'll get to that <laughs> after this track. Yeah, we. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, isn't it a sign that something is wrong when a face gets placed next to guns and batons and it's all legal? The police ain't for all people, and for that simple fact, they are called evil. Laws feeble, they ain't nothing but mind tricks to make you feel like you complacent and mindless. Deny this and apply thoughts and emotes and fuck a hundred dollars, y'all are lost in G notes. I re spoke game that I soaked in a belly, found another way to say it with my folks in a the telly. Then I wrote it in my own way, personal v neck and I don't give a fuck about a person with feedback. You relax, pot on my scripture is fine, feel my eyelids twitching and I think it's a sign. Searching, pronouncing my word before the closed curtain. Baby bowing out gracefully. The fact is not make believe, following the narrative. Yet we still chasing dreams, taking turns patiently. Your time is like a leap of faith. Treble in the highs, outcries from the deepest base. Waiting on the mothership to leave this place. Over the skyscrapers, physically not here. Permanent hiatus, time wasted. Thinking how to take some action. Organizing the folks that's down to make it happen. It was surreal when I met Bobby Seal. Thinking it was a sign. Of the times doing things that could have got me killed A generation popping pills still lost It's not just a coincidence, it's written in the stars Aligned with the tide of this universal pool I wave at the ocean trying to find my purpose too Life 
this with a winding road with hella signs I'm rapidly running through them, I blindly can't tell at times I fell behind trying to make forward progression I know it's a lesson, I gotta keep my eyes open to catch them Don't know my direction, I'm spinning everywhere Lost every care, mean mugging with a petty stare Crack a smile every now and then, though that's very rare Trying to force myself to feel something, but I'm barely there You get emotionally bleak when you grow up in the street But I'm still standing firm, ten toes and two feet I don't lose sleep, I prefer to stay awake Work until the day break, take a nap and then I'm straight Burn the stage like a shaman and be calm in my ills Steady trying to keep my balance like I'm walking on stilts But we all got guilt, that leaves us out of our mind I ain't the only one that's mad, it's just a sign of the times Times All right, well, that was the song that was Water Shit on Your Head. Uh, water Shit. Rinsing you off. Um, so, uh, so yeah, the, I, had a, I, I touched briefly on a topic we want to talk about now. Uh, I want to know what, how you have been liking performing this album because I've been to you know a handful of your shows and they, they seem to be popping off. So I want to know your side what how do you guys feel performing all these albums and you know the reception Man. you're getting live and everything yo honestly like watershed is lit dude <laughs> <laughs> for real bro nah these shows have been popping blood and cracking huh yeah it's it's man i'm thankful i'm just grateful man you know what i mean because it's been a long time like you know getting to this point yeah yeah so you guys had the show in berkeley with uh people under the stairs right and that was our first right. show. That was the first show, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. And then you had, on Wednesday, you had the you guys had their album release party. That was sick as fuck. Yeah. Elbow room, elbow room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Shout so out to everybody, dude. I think yeah, we right. were. Like, we, was, we was spoiled with the uh, yeah with the people under the stairs for being our first show. You know, definitely I mean? yeah. yeah. That, was that shit was dope. Rycon you know, was again. Was hip hop in the park that day too, right? Rycon, yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. But then we earned it. We earned it on the Wednesday. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That yeah. was a tough one. Wednesday at the Elbow. We yep. like, had it packed, man. Like a lot of support. Yeah, yeah, was yeah there were a lot of people there <laughs> too. Yeah, I was up down. I was yeah. getting crazy responses, man, across the world. Like you know, Spain, France. Yeah. All type of places, just you know, and like home too. A lot of people just, you know, I, I knew it was dope, of course, right? Like, I mean, we know it's dope, and we stand behind our product. But some, you just never know how certain projects are gonna get received, you right? Know? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it could be bad. It's all about timing. Like, right. here, it could be you could be sitting on a classic, and no one will hear it till eight years later. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, but this, I think, it's just people, you know, kind of waited. Like all of us, like Monk. He's been wiggling hard. Osk been wiggling hard. Brycon mm -hmm. and myself, you know what I'm saying? We've been going hard too. So I think all of our like efforts, you know, on our solo acts or whatever we've been, you know, done done our things in the past is just like it's all coming in like, you know, into like manifestation all into the watershed in a sense. Yeah. Like yeah. everybody's yeah, kinda sure. like feeling the feeling the fire from it. You know what I mean? Like it's dope because it's like, you know, like like Brycon is somewhat like you know, like kind of production, the mentor production wise in a sense, and I, mm -hmm. I'm like the old elder OG lyric wise with mm -hmm. these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, definitely. And it's right. like and it's through different generations. Like I know Monk, you know, for on different levels. You know what I mean? Like through, through music, through street, through Frisco, and you know what I'm saying? And like our generation gaps with to me Monk. And like Martine and Gabor in the same bracket, pretty much. It's just ill. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it, it, it covers yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. It covers a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So we're we're, we're kind of touching on how uh, Monk and and Gabel both uh, got on this project that just has so many people, and we're it, you know I was saying how it is called Equipped on Brycon Present, and you were saying how uh, this project is roughly maybe even like two years in the making or something. So. Mm -hmm. uh, at what point was it originally like you know what we're gonna have a project you know you and Brycon and you're like yeah let's put this out and then at a certain point you were like you know what like it's turning into this whole thing we got this whole movement going on right now so like let's get everybody involved mm -hmm. or like, like right, right. you know like um, yeah I mean it was a it's kind of in a way it was that I mean it was almost like an idea I remember when we were going to these meetings yeah. Right when Mario got executed, mm -hmm. right, I I had seen heard the name in a movie. It was like a, a Curtis Mayfield documentary or something. They were like, "It's a watershed moment." I was tweaking like, oh, mm -hmm. "That'd be dope for a group," you know what I mean? Just <laughs> tweaking off of stuff, and then we heard it at a 
at a, I heard at a rally one time, like one of the one of the ministers had preached it and said, and I was like, okay, this word is like running across too much. And then I think we, I just we just kind of joked about it, or not even joke, but just threw it in the air because we'd be at Brycon's vibing over there, and it was just us that were really like kind of vibing people, yeah. you know, that were all just kind of going in and out of meetings or just being, you know, involved in certain organ organizing form five day or this and that, you know, like everybody that was around. Or like in and out of Brycon Studio as well. Mm, you know right, I mean? right, like right, right. It was like Dregs was like early part of the watershed. Not like he isn't part of but you know, he just wasn't on the album. You know, like right. there's yeah. a lot of things that were kind of like ideas as far as like who could be involved and some people were and some people weren't and just really too busy. But yeah, I think it's just like me and Brycon were like, yeah, that'd be a dope idea. And then as the, it's just like, you have to earn your spot almost you know it's just like who's gonna come through the lab and who's worthy of shit you know it's like cause we're, 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 we're gonna <laughs> make it on the yeah. album yeah. they didn't exactly. tell us that you're working hard you know what I mean open auditions yeah. I, I made it like, I made it shit and like Monk is Monk yeah. Monk is part of it too cause he's always like I said I've known him for years mm. but he was in, in more or less involved with working with Brycon you know what I'm saying like production wise doing a, a project with him and woo, woo, woo. so they're like the watershed and monks paths kind of you know, our paths cross like genuinely on that note mm -hmm. you know what I mean because I was like yeah you know Brycon fucking with monk I'm like man I've known monk for fucking almost 20 years you know what I'm saying like mm. you know what I'm saying so it's like yeah woo, woo, like that type of shit you know what I mean right right and it just came together you know like yeah. as, it, as it gets closer to the you know final project you're yeah. like okay we gotta spot this out right. Monk would sound open here we need another verse from Martin and it's just uh, like you, you okay. naturally you naturally get the starting five Yeah, you know what I mean it's just like who's hungry enough is gonna be the ones that's in the in the thing and right. that happens to be me it. Gable Monk and, yeah. and Martin yeah. Baghead Liam so do y'all ever have moments good. like all right, like, like you're like, all right, bro, I'm gonna like, let me rap on this beat, bro. And they're like, oh, wait, I already started writing to that one. Like, no, nah, we didn't really have that at all. <laughs> like, come on, bro. It wait. was much more like, it was much more like, yo, we need to like get Monk on this song. Oh, okay. Like, you know what I mean? Right, right, like, right, right. No, that's sick as fuck. See, that's, Cause yeah, that's, yeah. we were in the studio a lot, but you know, not all. It was over, like he said, it was over two years. So right. we like made the songs at different ass times, like right. different times, and everyone's like. You know, knowing each so other and everything, yeah. like you know what I mean. We all met while the, not all of us, but like you know, we I met Monk through this album, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Right. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like you know, you have. I mean, there's obviously the one like you know, let's have a W song or something. You know, you got Definitely, you and Martin yeah. on there. Yeah, that song was fun. well, both of them actually. But when Swamp, that was that was like really that was a funny night when we made that song. It was like uh, you guys were that song. that was one where you guys were both together and all that. And, that Riding was the one, the yeah, time. the one we made, did today at Carnival. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Grew yeah. up in the Martin back now. streets. Where the fuck is Martin? You know, that's um, actually what we were saying when we made this song. Like, what? he wasn't, he didn't show like, up until an hour later. <laughs> <laughs> like, drunk, he, like, was Martin's drinking. Martin's like the ODB of the what water shit. <laughs> you better stop it. Stop it right this fucking second, boy. Stop it, boy. Oh, my God. I'm I done. I can't believe we haven't gotten that, that yet. <laughs> Where's his video? He missed his interview. He's drunk. He missed the interview. <laughs> he's, he's like, like I'm coming, I'm coming. Like, <laughs> I'm usually his excuse is that he's in Sonoma. You know what I'm I mean? Done, like, bro. he lives yeah, in Sonoma yeah, yeah. right now, though. He's the old dude. He's like a couple <laughs> blocks away somewhere. Hey, you know? it's hella close. Somewhere. That's the whole thing. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen him. <laughs> saw him on the way I here. I seen the guy. Yeah, the oh really saw God. him on the way here? No. Oh, I seen him on his, in his little genie outfit he had on. <laughs> <laughs> He had the genie outfit, carnival genie outfit. He did have the yeah. Shazam on today, bro. It was yeah. like, <laughs> Shout out Carnival yeah, fit. Genie cover fit. Uh, oh yeah, that way. Yeah. He, with it. he didn't give a fuck. That. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, but so, hey, you know, it all came to together. Place. It all came together for the album anyway. So, you know, yeah, man. shout out to that. And all the live performances and all the, the, the videos you guys shot, too. I mean, you guys were all coming together. Th you want to talk about we're that? On point. We're on point, aren't we, guys? Yeah, Jeez. we're pretty yeah, on yeah, point, yeah, man. Yeah, I haven't been this on point with a project since Board Stiff. Yeah, yeah man. Like, oh, shit, from man. the ground up. From the ground up project. We had videos. We had yep. But it's like, you know, it's just, and it, like you said, it just doesn't matter 
it's not like an intentional thing. It's aligned with the stars. It just happens. If you know, if you motivated, you motivated. You know what I mean? Like, Hell yeah. It happens if you have extra cash to get some stickers and buttons. Then it happens to be sometimes you you know you on your low end when you put the project out and you could barely even just put the project out. Right. And now right, we right. have you know people put coming together actually you know with grinders with hustlers. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we put it together for the videos. We got yeah. t-shirts. We're gonna have vinyl. We got tapes. Mm. You yeah. Know? Like we do it, and people are loving the project. That's what I love. Like I'm seeing people and they're just like saying lyrics to us already. You know? Yeah. What I mean? yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like the first. Yeah. yeah. That's dope. That's crazy, man. bro. Yeah. So what? What? Uh, what was kind of the the whole move behind um, uh, making cassettes? Because I know there's it's something that's been happening. You know, we got Baghead coming out with cassettes. Uh, you know, Brycon has been He's doing been that too. So too. yeah, it was just. Uh, was it like kind of like just because that? I mean, I know Brad can be putting out because that's too lo fi so. type of guy. Yeah. He loves it. I love it too. The You know, the analog is definitely dope. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's Star Bakeries end of the, you know what I mean? Right, right. It's, he's definitely um, old school, boom bap, 90s. And, right. And then we all love the tape. We just, and now that I have a tape player in my car, it's just yeah. a little more like convenient. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, even if if somebody if that's how they know the lyrics too, that's even more like, oh, you got the tape and you like got it in a tape player. You know? Yeah, I think it's it dope. makes the music more exciting. Exactly. Too, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. When you hold it and buy it, yeah. like you know, like tangible item that yeah, you could actually yeah, you yeah know. definitely yeah, yeah not only that it's something you kind of have to like be consciously like let me get this into something that can play it you know what i mean like yeah, especially right. nowadays <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. um yeah yeah tapes, uh, man we got tapes that's crazy yeah you got tapes um you got lighters Lighters. You guys got lighters. lighters. You got, got bookmarks. S-E. Book- we got bookmarks. Yeah, with the, yeah, book the, with the big man. flame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a big dope. All, oh, dude, all the lighters, yeah, they, they got that's the big the ass flame. <laughs> all of them. Yo, I fuck with that. We got bookmarks. He got us all this. We got bookmarks, bro. That's crazy. I didn't even see those. Yeah, we got bookmarks. We got we got shirts and tank tops. There you go. Tank tops. We got merch. Can where can they find them? You. You got in person. Yeah, you can find them on my the shows. on my person, and you can uh, <laughs> you, Instagram. The but 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 also like Bandcamp. Mm. That's kind of really? my store Bandcamp right now. The, uh, you can buy merch off Bandcamp. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh I did not know that. Right. Watershed four one five. The yeah. Watershed four one five. Like location that you want to go to. Right, you know, right. Centralized location. Pause in the place. For all things Watershed. This guy got you. So, you know any merchandise go to band camp go to band camp also yes. while we're talking about that uh amoeba sf mm-hmm. amoeba berkeley mm. park boulevard records mm. all these places are shout out to all these places for carrying watershed uh the first <laughs> our first album right. Right. aladdin has just walked in the building what's up, y'all. What's up? Yeah. nc pies, pies. Like, the genie of all <laughs> genie. what's up evan evan's in the building too he's on his kazam got- right now i'm telling you i got a few wishes right now <laughs> <laughs> you're, looking like, you're looking like shazam shazam <laughs> 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 evan breezy and right. and uh and martin dreezy um yeah, I want to. I actually want to talk about your videos a little more because we did touch on that a second ago. But uh, what's up, there's also, Doozy? Yeah. yeah, there's there's the Doozy one. I see pause in the Doozy break. Hamilton one. That's real dope. And then there's the Mike Evans. He Very did the young. video edit for Very Own. Uh, so I How guess San Francisco. We dropped uh, uh, like a nice little promo video Billy for that Jam too. Did that. Oh, yeah. for for the Sco? Sco. Right. No, hella San. Oh, hella. Oh, hella San, San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you guys got three, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we in the building. yeah, I remember being there for the <laughs> for the real dope one, or at least at the end. Like, what's that whole vid? It was it like you the video starting on the bus and then going making your way to a venue right. and then having a show at the end, right? So like, like that's we kind said, of the main shout thing. out to Doozy Hamilton, right? You know, main flicks yeah. on Instagram. He, uh-huh. um, we've done videos with him before with hypodermic, hypodermic with curbside bread. yep um, he's just a very professional dude you know what I mean right. like he's about getting shit done and like yep. planning yeah. and all you know and he's yeah. and he likes to he likes the music and he's a he's just a cool guy to work yeah. with so uh, I we hit him for real dope yeah and uh, yeah we we made it in a day 
Mike and Evans. What about that video? Mike Evans did very own. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, he inspired him to do that. We're like, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he ended up doing a. Um, a commercial for Baghead's tape, right? Yeah. He did a commercial right. for Baghead's tape. I was like, he did that? Okay, okay. I'm like, gonna slide you a little bread, man. You want to yeah. Mike Evans is like, you know, he's like, bing. He's like, bread? Okay. <laughs> Next thing you know, his eyes is like this because he stayed up all night doing it. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, Mike Evans, shout out. He did a great video for that, man. That was dope, right, y'all? That shit was uh -huh. Yeah, it was. Yeah, hell yeah. Hey, Jules. was dope. Jules best club. Yeah. Wait, see that. Yeah. Oh, that, that that's the yeah. one... Uh, I mean, do you want to talk about for the kids? Jules Rescue. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to talk about water? That's that's kinda, was hard that that's kind of hard. That's kind of like we'll, wait for the, we'll wait for the talk drop. About that a little bit. Wait for the drop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's wait for the drop. It's coming. Shout out to them. Shout, shout out, to yeah. Them. Shout out to Serial for the kids, and shout out for Doozy. Shout out to Mike Evans for all the videos and stuff. The videos definitely, I think, were good to have yeah. by the Hell time yeah. we had them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because Good people strategy. people got really into it through the video. Hell yeah. Yeah, definitely. Even yeah. making the real dope video was pretty dope at the show. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, that yeah. end part Monk where was you're in the crowd yeah. and shit. I yeah, yeah. Monk in the in the crowd. In the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was dope. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're among crowd surf. That was actually yeah, yeah, like a yeah. lit ass show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that shit was fun, man. Yeah. That's, That's like, like cool. a dead yeah, raccoon. It's, it's like there's all the, the cloud and the air and shit <laughs> right Gold over to yeah, it's so, yeah, it's very, yeah, it's yeah, it's almost like a dream. Like, oh shit. Uh, that was a good day, man. We were just hopping buses and shit. Walking yeah. around. That was fun. Yeah, you got that one shot of the of the that one dude on the bus. He's just like, yeah. Fuck with it. I don't the know. wheels. There was one shot. Going, I'm man. like, oh, it's he just some random dude on the was bus. Was that the Watershed pre album that he had, or what was it? That he had? Where were we? What? You're like, the bus, the dude on the video. He was like, he was like, he was like he's like, hey, he like just CD laughing. In his hand, but I don't know who CD he has. I don't know. It's just one very specific oh, shot in the video where it's uh, some dude on the bus. Curbside uh, CD, maybe. Yeah, he just seemed like he was Curbside. digging the whole filming of this music video. He's like, for oh. some reason that that isn't happening in my brain right now but i've seen the video yeah yeah well yeah. check yeah dope, check man. the video out real dope <laughs> <laughs> that's your well, check the video. that's like the, that's like the watch my video <laughs> <laughs> it was probably diego or somebody <laughs> mm. um yeah, oh, yeah. all right martin martin it's time for you to talk MC Paz, what's up? It's time, man. Come into the studio on your red, on your magic carpet, <laughs> on your magic flying carpet. <laughs> what's up, y'all? What's up, Paz? Okay, well, everybody else is gone, so it's not it's just. <laughs> I me guess it's and just Paz a one on one. Dev right there too. Um, so. What's up with uh? What, how did you get on this watershed thing? I know it's uh. I've been asking them. You know how? Who came up to you? Was it was it like? Did it start with like you know? Oh yeah, we're gonna get W on it. You got that one W song. I just shimmy through the swamp and I followed through the fox hole. You followed through the fox hole. I went in the fox hole. You wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> you just wrote this. Shout out to Malik LeBlanc because he wrote everything I say. Anything everything really anyways uh so how did i get on this project that's a good question man who, who brought it up to you first i off, just man? manifested it in my mind i was like yeah. yo it'd be dope if i just like got on a project where there was like like other rappers and like og like yeah rappers like crypto and shit and then i just like spit some verses and yeah. then people who really like appreciate hip-hop would hear that shit yeah and they would like go out their way to be like who is this person right and then they're like oh it's mc pause okay i never heard of this person yeah. he's well, he's like, tight oh, though i heard i heard him or or him. mc pa oh i think i seen him rock yeah. one time at the thing at the yeah. little wiggle you know yeah. he's, he's wearing that that, that thing at carnival <laughs> yeah, exactly, <man. laughs> oh mc pause he's the homie of the local bloco flow yeah, every yeah. year blah 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 yeah <laughs> from the woop woop <laughs> yeah the woop woop yeah. um, how many songs are you on actually like three? I'm on three, three? Yeah. Yeah, three yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then two is just me and Sam and then mm -hmm. the other one is me Sam and Equip though right um, on a satchel beat so. on a satchel beat yeah, 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 yeah. on a backhead still, beat still beautiful 
Right. Still beautiful, still yes. Beautiful. Shout out Baghead for that great beat. Because the world is still beautiful, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, shit, man. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if they've, like, talked about, like, the beginning of the watershed or how, like, this whole idea came to, 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 what is it? Premonition. Yeah, to fruition. 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 Yeah, yeah. Premonition. Yeah. That's before. Yeah. Fruition. fruition. <laughs> In the now. In the now. Uh-huh. Is that, I just remember like going to a meeting with just like a bunch of folks, like artists. Yeah. You know, yeah. it was basically like all artists and yeah. like, but artists who were like down to like do something about what's happening in the world. You know, like people, like artists who, you know, are seeing what's happening and they're not complacent. They don't want to be complacent. And so. Mm. You know, I just remember Equipto saying, and Selassie, it was Equipto and Selassie, like, and they were just like, yo, if not us, then who? Like, if we don't do something about it, like, who's right. going to do it, you right. know? Because at this point, even though we li- live in a, quote, democracy, mm-hmm. you know, we can't rely on other people to, like, fix the things that we want to see, like, changed and stuff. So, yeah, the watershed is just kind of... It's almost like I, I see it kind of just like the 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 beginning of the movement of the wheel of the train track of right. like the process. Like this right. is this is just the first step, man. You know, yeah, the album, yeah, like yeah. even though it's a big accomplishment, like people are really fucking with it, like this is only like the beginning, literally, you know, like this is musically or or broader than that, like the movement. Well, musically, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm definitely gonna like work. Well, de- we're definitely working on you know yeah. new shit already. Yeah. Um, but just the, the the idea of it is just you know it's it's, it's very grassroots yeah, hip hop yeah, yeah, yeah. type yeah, shit yeah. you know and just like really repping where we're from you know exactly yeah about your roots and your and I feel like hip hop always that's that's one of the strengths of, of hip-hop is that mm-hmm. everyone who like is a is in it like they really rep, rep where they're from you know like if you're from texas if you're in new york if you're from florida like the, whoever the artist is like they really like represent their home you know mm-hmm. and so that's why i'm the that's what i'm most proud about watershed is that i feel like really like represent san francisco on that like fucking hip-hop tip you know yeah like on that fucking right. conscious shit right yeah i mean because that's you know if you know MP- mc pause you know he's spin some real shit you I know mean, it's what i work it. on yeah <laughs> yeah exactly and so i mean i asked them a little earlier uh i was like you know what kind of about the changes they see in the city and all that stuff you know but uh I want to ask you because you've been doing what carnival for, for I mean, you know, majority of your life, right? Is that safe to say? Yeah. So I I was like, you know, what kind of changes have they seen? And I asked about carnival. So like, how did you feel performing at carnival? Now moving into your own music, you know, outside of like, you know, uh, being a part of a drum procession, and Mm -hmm. like just carnival in general, like the changes you've seen throughout the years. Yeah, I mean. The main change that I've noticed from participating in Carnival the last few years is, like, the people that come out. Like, Mm. before, I remember, like, young, when I was young, like, the folks that, like, people came out for Carnival. Like, that was, like, one of the weekends to, like, come through the city, you know? And, like, I'm talking, like, hundreds of thousands of people were here for Carnival weekend. Like, Mm. you know, now it's kind of from the five figures, like... Ten thousand, you know, right. lucky to get a hundred thousand if, right. if 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 at all. But so is it just less or like a different like not maybe not quality of people, but just different breed or? I just feel like the people who like used to c- come out aren't here anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, even like mm-hmm. not even not just like the folks in the city, but like in the Bay Area in general. Like mm-hmm. you know, I feel like the people who used to like save the date for Carnival, like aren't in the vicinity anymore yeah know, a lot so. of people were like you know they might be like they moved up to like fresno or they exactly, moved up yeah. to like yeah. you know what i mean gilroy you right. know because it's more affordable they could right. buy a house out there it's more achievable right. and stuff you know right you know well not even buy a house they could rent a house out there you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you know yeah i mean well yeah i guess it's just kind of everybody's dispersed into just the greater bay area i guess you know it definitely hurt the culture in Mm. in the city a Mm -hmm. lot man Mm -hmm. you know what i mean because like you know in the event that like it's time to gather like all of us Mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's hard you know a lot of people got to go out their ways you know Mm -hmm. what i mean drive a commute hella hours to get here and Mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's just like a big ass like you know, mm-hmm. Inconvenience to some people sometimes. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I guess something interesting. I was talking. I forgot who I was talking about it with, but today they were like, "Yeah, well, it's also kind of crazy because uh, back in the day, you'd have to kind of like pick and choose where to go for carnival. Yeah. Um, just based on just I guess the neighborhood and what's going on in different areas. But like now, you can kind of just walk anywhere. It's yeah, not like really I a problem, could, right? Like we you couldn't know? walk in certain. Definitely couldn't walk right. in certain areas right. without like ensuring that we begin to a fight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like okay, it's there's a certain you know like. Queasy said this earlier is like just less violence, man. You know mm, what I'm saying? And that's yeah. a good thing, man. Yeah. You know, we don't need to be violent towards each other, especially right. if we're all like all within the same struggle, we're all yeah. within the same fight, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, you know, like these little small differences, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, geographical locations and shit like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Once you yeah. get past that, you realize you got way more in common with each other as mm-hmm. people, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. then in these little neighborhood differences and yeah, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and know. it opens up the stuff that you don't see, which is what y'all are talking about in this album. You know? Yeah, off tactics. Yeah. You yeah. see like you see like scraps on one side of the street and, and Norte's on the other side of the street, like literally. Uh huh. About to like charge each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right, right. Shit, like movie shit that you see gangs in New York and shit. Like, right. Shit, I used to see that shit in San Jose too, like a lot of single mm-hmm. Mile. But yeah, I mean, like, you know, Monk Low already, he come from that yeah. element. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. that's um, that's Carnival. I remember going, like, I was tripping though too. Like, it's just like anything, like um, Festival at the Lake in Oakland. My motherfuckers don't even know about Festival of the Lake in Oakland. I was like mm. one of the most dopest, gangsterist, dope shit. But you go with your best on, you get ready, you know, you knew there might be a problem. With, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the youth. That's part of that that life. Like, you risk fucking your sneakers up. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you you still trying to knock some, too. You feel me? You know the beautiful women going to be there, but your rival might be there, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's a lot of, I think a lot of it was that. Like, I, I was looking at youngsters today, like, oh, they all, you know what I'm saying? And the youngsters, even like 12 year old kids, you know, homies just walking, you know, trying to be cool. And they talking about girls. You seen her? Yeah, she was here, blood. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that shit is beautiful, man. Like, a lot of that is still there. But, like, like you said, too, like 22nd and Harrison was ridiculous. It was beautiful. It was like Frisco. Mm-hmm. But, guaranteed, like, a lot of, like, 60, 70% of those people that are from Frisco don't even live here no more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we have that space to come to now. Right, you know what right, I mean? Right. And, like you said, like, Gable said, ETC is that same kind of, like, essence. It's like every right. Friday, at least you could get a taste of what the youngsters are coming together, chilling, whatever, yeah. cracking jokes, smoking weed, all yeah, that shit. It's yeah, like, yeah. it seems like nothing. It seems like gibberish. It just seems like youthful expression, but it's like, it's important you know mm-hmm. what i mean it's all part of the process of what's to come you know right, what i mean the right. future this is what's guiding the culture to come you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying so yeah but carnival used to be a lot more mania i think you know of course the g- gang injunctions and what's been going on right. you know what i'm saying like a lot of brothers been locked up over the shit mm-hmm. so right you know it is what it is right right um what were it did, oh, well, did you that, have something no to say? yeah on that note i just want to like because you asked me about like the kind of my perspective on carnival mm-hmm. and right. doing it through the years right. i feel like through the last few years like three or four like frisco has really like come back like for carnival mm. and specific like today for like for example like right now i was walking down 21st and on 21st and south and S, there was like two different block parties on both sides of the street like right. happening and like it was cracking like you know and then like you go down the block and there's still people like chilling at the corner store and like fucking we were here earlier at like six o'clock putting drums away and like fogo was uh fogo naropa who's one of the contingents in carnival like they're still here like chilling outside at doña Ter- it's like you know like you know it really feels like the last few years like people have really been it it seems like people have like gone out their way but also there's might be a sense of like appealment still like or coming back at least for like the carnival and like the culture like the Mm -hmm. shit that's happening because i know like 
for me it's like sometimes there's things that like happen in the city or whatever but you like if you go and then you like experience it and you feel that it's not the same Mm -hmm. then you're discouraged to come back but i feel like with the years that have gone by carnival carnival like i remember there was this one year where carnival wasn't gonna happen at all like there was no funds for it like nobody was trying to like do it like none of like the people who like would help with it like in the government or the city government but just volunteers came together and like threw it and i think ever since that first that year where it was just all volunteer based i want to say it was like 2012 like 2013 one of those years it was like towards Um, the end of i mean when we were in high school yeah towards like yeah when we were in high school but literally like carnival wasn't gonna happen like nobody wanted to do it and then it just the community made it happen and i think ever since that year that the community made it happen like the community has been making it happen more and more and more and really bringing it back bringing that essence yeah i do feel like even with like gentrification like you know like like that being so thick in the mission district i feel like it made a lot of people revolt against it Mm -hmm. and it it brought a lot of people together and to make Mm -hmm. sure to ensure that we uphold the culture out here you know what i'm saying like so now you see all the low riders out still you know what i'm saying you still see like even just like all the all the folks like who used to be you know what i mean be out and within hanging on the corner and shit like that yeah Yeah. Right. Yeah. People hanging ten deep unless they dope fiends now. You yeah, know exactly. Mm. Like mm. waiting to get into a fucking shelter. Yeah, yeah. You know, see, right. exactly. But, you know, what I'm saying people of color, whatever the fuck, like hanging out together because it's the gang injunction and all exactly. that type of shit. But exactly, we're not out. Right. This is that time you see like yeah. ten, twelve healthy motherfuckers chilling together, like geared up, whoopty wop, mm-hmm. not just a, looked at as a oh my god, a super threat. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Where they from? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, for real. Um, do you, I mean, well, another thing is like, I, it's cool because, you know, I, Carnival, I, I mean, I haven't been going all my life, but since I have been going, it's like, I was, I did like the procession with you one year or something. And it's like, yeah. now, now it's at a point where it's like, yeah, hella people would come, but, um now it's like everybody i'm around is also in it and you know like coming up now it's like okay we went from watching this to like being a part of it and it's like cool because you you know now it's you everybody here performing at the stage Mm -hmm. you know and stuff you know it's something that we've enjoyed in the past and it's like now you get to do it so i don't know and like now our whole base is like oh everybody's here you know like yeah yeah, it's kind of cool yeah um, like, yeah, we now performing at Artifact. I know. We've never done that shit. Like, yeah. all the years nah. motherfuckers been here, even me, nah. Monk, you know what I'm saying? Like, that Don't type of thing. Us. Like, and Monk said earlier, like, now homies are joking things. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, you be, never be there, have a booth. That wasn't even a possibility. Nah, like, you know bro. what I mean? Like, we so it is it's, it's good to see, like, people striving, people getting their hustle on and, you know, figuring mm. out how to get they, you know, as get established you know yeah. what I mean and, and I guess somewhat adjust to what's happening you know yeah, what I mean the yeah. change you're gonna either get left behind they say or you either gonna adjust right. some people adjusting and getting their money you know what I mean right, that's right. cool you know what I mean and some right. people resisting and still standing for what they believe in and it's all love too right. you know what I mean mm-hmm. but it's good to see like personal cause it's like to me it's like a it's been a Frisco wave, a renaissance wave that's happened in the last three, four years maybe, especially with the gear. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Frisco slums, dying breed, mm-hmm. you see the key to the city. Like, yep, you know what yep, I mean? Like, yep. And they, they shit is official. You yep, know what I mean? Yep. Like everybody got dope jackets. Everything mm-hmm. is like yeah, quality, quality wise. Mm-hmm. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, and that's, yeah. you know, it just, it touches my heart. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, damn, man, it, the Frisco, real Frisco cats is making. It's not like some, you know, pansies is making it. Yeah, you know, these right. cats that are really from the gutter. You know what right. I mean? Like right, right, and right. finding a way to wiggle and use their art and you know their hustle, combine that yeah. and like represent for the city still. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like these motherfuckers that probably would be doing tattoos and a pen and shit that doing that are doing artwork for 
you know, clothing clothing companies now and doing other things that are just like hella positive and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you know, what I mean, it's always good to see people kind of like you know just converting all that that energy that they put into the streets or into mm-hmm. the game mm-hmm. and just like do you know putting it back into like you know some positive man. Right, right. You know, it's a lot of destructive shit. Motherfuckers could be doing otherwise. Yeah, you know for real. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, ha- has it always been so I mean at the stage we we're at today it was like it, it, it coming out with like it was, it was really hip hop so was it always so hip hop hell like, yeah like since the start then cause I, I always knew it nah. for the <laughs> <laughs> nah for real it is always hip It's it gotta yeah. be hip hop bro yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, the definitely. fucking this is like the you know it's the backbone of what like carries us bro like mm-hmm. this is what we all like you know this is what we do bro mm-hmm. you know what I mean it has to be there has to be a DJ there gotta be you yep, feel me yep. we need those break beats you feel me yep, like we yep. need those sample loops you know what I mean yeah, like, yeah. I might use 808s on my shit, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, but it's all sample bass and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, off top. Yeah, definitely. Like, it's all break beats and shit. Yeah. Um, shit, you want to... I guess I want to play another song or something. Yeah, yeah. you want to play? Uh, you want to play, uh, play a song? You want to go with uh, real dope or yeah? It's the video we're talking or, um, about. Oh, we haven't played real dope yet. Yeah, let's dope. play real dope. Okay, yeah, yeah. You'll go off on this one. It's the it's the it's the uh, somebody who hit me up on Instagram was like, "Yo, I seen the new video. It's like, damn, you like? <laughs> well, I try to show you do. Yeah. Like, you like? You like?" Now we continue our tour in song, in song, in song. Yeah, in a fight with a monster inside of my chest, live in effect. He always keep a violent stress in a sea full of fish. I ain't trying to mess with. Professor lid flip, better give him his meds quick. Assess hit dipped in a bucket of hash, but the scars in the gash ain't nothing to laugh about. Tapped out, but I'm back in a ring. Flask out in the rain with a passion to sing. Wake up, me and Mooks on the way to the moon, and the only way to make it is by making the tunes. The seeds plant and they sprout to morales and moves, and evolve like the sounds and the styles we use and make new. Every time I wake, it's a breakthrough The pain that you face is the grave that creates you I can't do parties unless I'm rocking the stage A recluse in the wave, swimming out of the maze Every day Shit. When I come in, man You yeah. know what I mean? Sun rays like the incense, looking over things I wrote, check for misprints, stretching bed positions that are fetal, I pray in my own way, visions of my people, embrace and appreciate my life today, and trying to find a way to occupy my mind all night and day, to survive the game and still have a peace of mind, meditate straight to a state where you leave behind hate, till it's out your conscience, constantly training your mind to find a new thought process, but closed eyes and focused in on both sides of the brain, Distraction past paid in no mind The whole time's like a dream state Don't remember much, but now I'm on touch And I see straight To take it there was just a little bit of time alone Without a beat or a microphone Zone Chefing the 
ill recipes Breaking bread with the people till we reach financial equity Been a long time, gotta bring it back home I wear the city anywhere that I roam My that I flow Hold the ground that you tried on The beat that you rhyme on Suffocating, leave that shit Life is like a python Mission to fill more piece of messy Marv Quinn nicotine equipped up. Quip, San Francisco? Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna tell you about San Francisco. He gonna San come in like the Bay Area is very old. You know, San Francisco. And all that shit. The Bay Area is very old. Oakland, California, Vallejo, Richmond, San Jose, you know. The Bay Area is very old. All over. Pioneers. Bay Area is very on. Very on, man. Check it. I'm a the 70s Bay Area, baby. Bay a child through the 80s. The 90s cultivated the style that would raise me from the air that we breathe to the pulse on the streets. And how many migrated from the south and the east. They out to seek new land. Those are poverty stricken and restricted from society. You're placed in the district. That's the 49 and gold mine of killers and rapists. And the projects that came from old military bases. Now, it's not affordable for working class folks Politicians left communities broke without hope And told lies in front of our face at their convenience We had to make way with what we had And that's the reason the Bay had pioneered this game from different regions The independent mind state, a home of new beginnings They say it's hard to make it in this house of hatred It's the home of Sly Stone, Mike Meads and Gary Payton, you know The Bay Area is very old Originate the slang and bring our own language The balance of the backpack rappers with all the gangsters Trees been an everyday thing up on the city streets Personality vary from backwards to swish of sweets It's a vibe thing, high up in our mind state We try to go about it the right way In spite of what might change, we keep it on a solid sound way Not the temporary that's gone tomorrow nowadays It's over before it started As underground artists, it's hard to let our guards down and speak honest when it comes to broken promises that we are heard before yeah. Giving us props, but we all know what we deserve And more money's the root, but we gon' carry it on without permission And keep it independent in this Bay tradition To listen close to the legends and this code of ethics And this genuine, surreal ones, they gon' respect it Check it, Bay Area, very on That was real dope, first off. That was that first song. And that last one was Very Own, off the Watershed album, uh, Equipped O, Bri Khan, Professor Gable, Monk HTS, MC Paz. And this next one is called Still Beautiful with Professor Gable and MC Paz. And equipped though too. Produced by Backhead. Ninety five my eye would always look for meaning in trouble. People in huddles be sparking up a frequency bubble and smoke clouds by the I 
division was raised by the J-Line 95 in July on the 8th I'm never getting tied up in a grapevine You can find me posted by the break in the baseline no space for me In the space of a strained mind Living in a spliff in the effort to escape mine Perception and reality are trying to debate Time, space, always all up in my face like a razor The faces of displacement are my neighbor huh. It's code red, this is situation major Developing the condos, disintegrate the nature Danger, they putting out the smoke with the vapor Paper, could be a little square in your phone Taking money out your pocket while they carry your dome I'm no clone, I'm the only one of me that you'll meet With my head in the clouds and my feet in the street It's that time From behind exposing racist and the lies yeah. It's time to capitalize and free Mumia from the whites that's right. Saying that's closing the border and hailing the third Reich My Ugh. people, it's time to fight into my rappers, I'm the right They're thinking we're full of fright, but in the darkness we're the light we Intelligence are. in disguise, not hiding in suit and tie It's the people assassinated who really were the wise Why they had to die They were exposing all the evil, not like evil can evil These people had twisted egos that their children inherited Still engraved inside their psyche And make them as frightening like finding out who made your Nikes for this reason alone, you must understand why I'm rhyming Cadillac with a diamond up in the back Still shining, if I keep steady grinding I'll drive my caddy as I'm climbing On the road to Zion, making sure I don't lose my timing My friend We want to be free the 
the secret motive Explosive like Hocus Pocus D. Rodman now is the chosen person To be our diplomat Meet the supreme leader at Whatever he keep the gap That's where he's gonna leave a man Homie, we don't need to scrap Here's a pass behind the back Score it and it's peace at last Miss it and I'm leaving as Yeah, 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 miss it and I'm leaving as Look, I'm seeing everything How the rich control the game People getting murdered, man Want us to forget the name Innocence the Pope will claim If you're poor, if you're fame Money doesn't change a thing They'll still think you're in the gang Watching us, we overcome obstacles That to them seem tough Didn't know our skin was rough Watershed, count on us Yeah, you heard me Yeah, yeah, you, you can count on us Yo, right, right, right in the now. Okay, so that uh, right Ooh. now is called Just with MC Paws, Professor Gable, uh, off the Watershed. Produced by Bracon. Produced by Bracon, off the Watershed album. Equipto, Bracon, Monk HTS, MC Paws, uh, Baghead, McStravick. Um, and so... Uh, feel free to call us also 415-550-0511 we'll be online on time all the time until 10 o'clock uh, so we got uh, two more people now we got Baghead hey. and McStravick uh, fresh 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 off a beat set I believe right what up, man? Yeah, I just had a beat set on yep. Hate Street, the Hate Street Art Walk. How'd that go? It was cool. DJ Ewok organized a show there at, uh, what do you call it? Aviator Nation. Word. So I did a beat set there. Ewok DJed a bit. Cool. Uh, this girl, Saya, sang. 89s did a beat set. Some other folks rocked as well. Okay, cool. IDM, oh, IDM, oh, he yeah, didn't, yeah. he was late, he oh, didn't make it, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> so he's, he's in the back. Oh, Apparently there was no buses leaving the mission, so. Oh, yeah. I luckily got a ride from Mike. Yeah, it's a little busy down there. It's hella funny. IDM is going to do the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. How'd you feel doing it? You felt good? It was cool, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm glad I, I like, it's one of my first beat sets. I've done beat sets with Satchel before, or with Baghead before, uh -huh. um, but What's this one. Huh? Satchel or Baghead? Both of those people. All right. Separately. <laughs> Both single entities. <laughs> yeah, um, but I finally like I made a set. I got it on my 404, so now I have like a set locked in. So Sick. it's good to have that and like to start using yep. the set, so I can start doing it more. Yep. Yep. Yeah, nice. Um, well, we are talking about tonight the watershed, and you guys are both uh, contributors, contributors to the project. Uh, yes, and contributors. I've been, yeah, I've been asking everybody who's coming in uh, how their initial um, entrance into the making of the album came about. Um, you guys both have beats on there. Uh, you know, you guys, you guys both uh, work with Brycon too. You know, in the studio and stuff. So yeah. Yeah, how uh, how how that come about for both of you guys? Um, the well, I don't know what y'all talked about, but the watershed was originally like a group of a hell of young people, and just over time that kind of dissipated, and then Queasy and Brycon, and, e. and then Bria and E, yeah, E brought a bunch of people, to, brought a lot of young people together. Yep. And um, it was his idea. Yep. As well as some other older people. Right. And then Brycon wasn't <laughs> even there. <laughs> and then, and then, and then um, um, time went by, and like Queasy, Queasy and Bracon like worked together a lot, and they made a bunch of songs. All right. And the watershed 
was still an idea in their head and so they right. reached out to us to make songs and right how did i think um we were we had been recording a couple of songs at brycon's house we, we, he was like he was like a, like a an engineer for us mm -hmm. me and gabe were recording a couple of songs and i think e had gone on tour and i sent him some beats that he and like that was one of the beats that he wrote to and sam mm -hmm. had written to it too or something like that the, it just at one point we just ended up in brycon's house all together and but it was already <clears throat> about the watershed though i just don't i don't remember in there i don't remember that yeah. But you're talking about still beautiful right yeah so like beautiful. that beat yeah. yeah that beat was just, it just like kind of worked we were just like ended up at the house together and they wrote and they recorded it and it was cool and then martin got on it later right. still yeah. beautiful oh, i see yeah oh, okay so that's how it kind of happened yeah martin the the what would you say the odb of the group yeah monk says martin's the odb of watershed <laughs> why is that because <laughs> he's because he's always like <laughs> late or not there <laughs> I'm <And> coming I'm <laughs> coming <laughs> yeah he's always hella drunk <laughs> Ooh. yeah what do, yeah so no. what does that make you Sam I'm I'm method man and Riza <laughs> sick all right well now mix traffic I want to know what you have to say about it now how did you get a part of this um your turn I feel like, well, the, the watershed, I feel like it was a, uh, before it was like necessarily called the watershed, the name, the crypto had come with the name, but uh, I feel like there was a, a group of folks who were involved in like activism and like the Mario Woods Coalition organizing around police brutality. And then those same folks, you would see them at the hip hop show. And so I feel like it was like, we would see each other all the time because we'd be at the protest and then at the show and I feel like those people kind of, we kind of stuck together and eventually yeah. that's some of the folks who became the watershed. Um, but how I got a song on there was uh, I was at Brycon Studio in Oakland mm. and uh, it's actually a remix of a different song which I've never heard and I want <laughs> <laughs> good, oh, wait, good, remix good. how like you like somebody made a beat and then you remixed it or something or like the the, the, the verses on it were originally a song. Kanye was on the song right then all that <laughs> shit happened and we had to change it Kanye oh, and shit. Conway oh man yeah Kanye Conway <laughs> nah no, I'm just kidding yeah. Um, I, I went to Brightcons and he was like, "You got any beats that are 85.5 BPM?" <laughs> and I was 25. like, "Maybe." And I found one that was 86, mm. and we changed it. To oh, to it. yeah, I think something nice. like something like that. I don't know. I don't remember the exact numbers. Oh, I think worry. it's around there though. Okay. Um, yeah, and then uh, I think Crypto's verse was already recorded on the other song, so that's from mm. that. Mm. And then Gable re-recorded his, mm. and then later on. Uh, Monk had heard it and he wanted to hop on it and he hopped on it and killed it. Mm. And yeah, that's how that song came together. Sick. Um do you guys now everybody who who's got who's got their favorite production of the album story or wait uh, can I uh, yeah, yeah, go let ahead. Let me ask Speak. another question. Go ahead. Because that sounds hard to answer. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh What's like the funniest moment you remember <laughs> in in watershed history thus far? E. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that question is hard e. to answer, but start oh. with E, then we'll go. <laughs> that question is harder than the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't think of it. Yeah. All right. How did you got how did you wait, hold on. Let me say something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, it's just a thought. It's like it might not be funny to some, but to me, it's no, yeah. funny. Um, cause like uh, like Liam said, and uh, well, McStravick and Baghead said about how it came together. Like it's hella true. It's like you know what I mean. Like we were talking about that earlier. So a lot of it was the the movement and what was going on. Cause a lot of us got close through that. You yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. But one memory I remember. I, is at the J. Rue the Damager show. The and what a, show? Oh, J. Rue the Damager. We had Brick and Mortar, and I think it was uh, Satch, and he put the, <laughs> the, the, the Mario Wood sign up, you know? And it was just like, it was just funny, man. It was just dope, but it was funny. It was just showed how much, how passionate we were at that time. And you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. and how much we've grown, 
you know, but uh, yeah, like I would have never done that now. Yeah, you exactly. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, I was like, right. this is what I gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it, blood. So, yeah, that's like a memory of the shed. I mean, we weren't even, I mean, my shed might have been a mention back then, but right, but it's still shed to me because everything that you know, what I'm saying. Everything from, is shed. Yeah, every, from, from the one moment where like Mario, you know what I'm saying, and and kind of you know around that time is pretty much shed related. You know? Yeah, shed related. Shed related. I remember one time. This is not not that crazy funny. I got a bad memory, but this happened recently. It was when we were like we were like before the album dropped, we were like we had met up about like what roles people were gonna play with like hitting up certain blogs and da 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 da, and like we were all kind of stressing like yo like we'll do this and you'll do that and Martin was never around because he lives in so- <laughs> because, he, because he lives in Sonoma and then like, at one point Brian was like oh like Martin could do something that was hella funny he was like there's this guy uh, he's yeah. called Martin and we were like oh, we had Martin. forgotten about Martin like, oh he's part of the group to too to like, he's like yeah that's Martin. hella true Brian was like yo so there's this guy named Martin <laughs> <laughs> and he could do stuff <laughs> yeah so that was pretty funny yeah, Brian Kind of what did he? Enemy. What did you need him to do? What now? Like, like, like Instagram. Uh, uh, just another element, another output. Yeah. Come on, pause. I come, remember. Come back already, buddy. I got. A, I got a story at one Go of ahead. the first uh, watershed meetings. We were Crypto invited us to his house and we were all tripping. and we're like, Oh shit, a crypto invited us to his house for a meeting. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it was like that back then, actually. I forgot. In, in in retrospect, I don't know how accurate this is, but I remember Mike was juiced. He's like, I'm gonna take a take a shit where Mac Dre once took a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, shit. Did Mac Dre <laughs> no, not in that bathroom, no. <laughs> not that there. He said not that bathroom. I didn't stay there. Yeah, exactly. At days. the time, it seemed like it seemed it made sense. I don't know, but I, right, it did. It totally made sense. <laughs> yeah, and they bought us pizza too. Ooh. I took a, I definitely took a shit in this toilet, man. Drake. For sure, man. You did. <laughs> Damn, how do you know Dre I probably I probably have. It's a small city. Yeah. That's possible, like oh yeah, they have that one. It's a small city he took a shit in, like just for the record, Monk realized that he took a shit in the same toilet that Mac Dre took a shit in. Yeah, well, how do you know? Uh, well yeah, Monk definitely. Don't shit story though, um <laughs> like traces back like to a little before the shit, but I definitely was uh in the lab while while Quipto was recording like like which I checked the rhyme. We'll check, behind uh, the rhyme, behind the rhyme, my yeah, bad. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking try, I'm checking yeah. the rhyme. Yeah. Yeah, he the was rhyme. In, Monk was in the studio a lot during that album. That when I did with like when I had Mac Dre song and Be Legit and all the year like the closest thing to my hyphy album or hyphy era album. You know what I'm saying? Like it was more of an ism album, but ism. But Monk was like a young cat in there because young Monk come from my young homies, which were City Side Crew. City Side Crew was my young homies that were like, you know what I'm yeah. saying, little rumblers out here running around, Latin cats, and they were they were like five percenters too. It was like they were, you know what I'm saying, like they were a rowdy little young bunch. So, but they definitely had their own wiggles, which was with Wash House and certain, you know what I'm saying, things. If you know Wash House, Wash House is responsible for the Ronald Dragon album and the Genie and the Lamp album, which yeah. is probably the biggest albums that kind of propelled Mac Dre to the whole new persona and character he had so wash house that was my wash house album as well so i was already wiggling with wash house and they were like friends of mine you know what i'm saying like real friends of mine but we just never did music like that it was just you know it was just one of those things and then we finally got down to it and monk was rolling with city side like son of man and sean dude was bringing him around like this our young homie when we got bars and monk was just just learning how to uh, put put like his metaphors to uh, not metaphors um, bars bars yeah bars, bars but like the uh, the syllable game <laughs> you know what I'm saying like how Monk has that that ill syllable game right now you know puffing tremendous and knocking doors with hinges you know what I'm saying like 
that was early, but Monk was, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just mastered it now. But back then, I mean, you know, he would just, he was learning how to fit it in the bars. Yeah, it was you know a big saying? mess. <laughs> yeah. But I remember that. I would remember, like, this dude is going to be dope, like, if he keeps at it. So I would always see Monk, you know what I'm saying? Like, through other, through other, uh, just other homies and other people doing songs with him. And I was like, damn, this motherfucker's still rapping and shit. Like, okay, <laughs> this shit is dope. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I knew if he would keep rapping, you know what I'm saying, yeah. it would be dope. And then he just started making incredible beats, too. Because, mm -hmm. like he said, no one, would, he didn't have, hear beats that he liked it, so he had to make his own beats. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it all made sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I seen Monk making his, you know what I'm saying? It's like making his progress on his own. Yeah. In his heart to do that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, keep keep at it. You might make it on the Shed album. Hey. <laughs> hey. Cool. And it all came together. That's nice. Um, another song. Do you want to do you want to hear more? I don't know. Is, is there anything else you want to? Is there anything that I haven't played that you want to make sure people hear before? Uh, and then we just played that. Disco. Hella um, San Francisco. Hella San Francisco. That's the, yeah, yeah. What do y'all think? What about what Liam and um, Sash? We should Didn't you have a question, Gabe, or no? Yeah, let's ask Liam and Sash some questions. Okay, let's keep going. Um, So, when it comes to the watershed, <laughs> what do you think is like, what do you think is like the most, <clears throat> what do you think is the persona of the watershed as a whole? Not one person in the watershed, but like when the watershed enters arrives. or arrives, so to speak, what do you think happens to the people, you know what I mean, that are just to the, the area ener energetically, Satchel? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It has a, I think we have a really humble vibe. Um, I think we really try to tap into like, like the essence. We I think we really try to tap into the essence of hip hop and the essence of like Frisco and the essence of like resistance and the essence of a lot of shit. And I think it just kind of comes. Essence of life. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know, man. We haven't like we're st like we just started doing our first shows and you know so it's still kind of coming together. But it feels good. I think people respect it and people like resonate with what comes from us. What um what do you so like y'all did beats on the album but you also do live beats at the shows. I think that's a special thing about the show is that yeah, we definitely. have a real like te production team that's doing it mm -hmm. in real time. So what do you think uh what do you think what do you think that is? Like how does what element is that to the to the show? <laughs> Liam. Um, I think that's a dope element because it really shows like what we're doing as beat makers. It's not, it's not just a rap group with just raps. It's like it's got raps and it has beat makers who are sampling shit and like we got scratching and we got satchel, adding other sound effects. I'm playing different shit. Like it's it's just a cool it's a cool way to show what we do. And it's a cool way to like not have such a one-sided view of a rap show as just being rapping or just one thing. It like it shows the diversity of it. Do you guys feel like Brycon is like a good guy to look up to in this process of time? I think it's dope because Brycon really does like he survives on his music grind. Like right. he does his DJing and his gigs, and he really makes a living and and like lives off that. So I really respect that. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like sound. Do you feel like <laughs> like the sound is a uh, like you feel like you've soaked up sound like in a in like a good not bit or anything but like is he in your beat pad at all when you touch the pad in a way <laughs> like <Touch the> pad. <laughs> I think with Brycon there's like a level of knowledge about beat making and music and digging and like the rules of like producing in hip hop like mm -hmm the do's and don'ts and there's a lot you can learn of just like almost like the etiquette of it too and yeah, just right, like yeah. yeah how to how to be a beat maker and how to pay tribute at the same time and mm -hmm. not you know what I mean not be biting shit and not be overusing samples and stuff yeah, I think so. I think Brycon is like the perfect perfect mentor for both of y'all like that was meant for y'all to 
you know what I'm saying? Like coordinate with each other and all that, like have the sessions and learn and have, you know, like. Definitely. It's a per, you know, it's just like, cause he's a, he's like, you know, real motherfucking boom bapper. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. Hip hop, and like he has his a very unique, not just sound, but approach. Yeah, you know, he's like, like a really good musician. Right. Yeah. yeah, he has his own tweak to the whole, you know what I'm saying, thing. And then I think for y'all to be so young, and like already have that, you know, like liking towards that. Definitely. That sound is just perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like, yeah. And he knows like the, the independent music hustle really well too. So it's dope to like right, peep right. game on that and like make those connections too. And yeah, just learn how to, to put music out and do it well and do it like in a way that could be successful. Also, like his his knowledge of the music that you guys are are using too, you know, like yeah. all this stuff you're sampling and everything you're drawing inspiration from. Like, I, I mean, from what I've seen, he knows like all about it, you know. So you get to fuel that interest of yours, you know, like you know, and you know, because that fool, he he just like he's got the samples. Like, yeah, I mean, I like like this album, it's like damn, bro, like these all these like samples and like these these little bits of talking is like crazy. So on point. Yeah, he definitely. I think what's pretty cool is that he never pushed me to do anything, but like just being around him made me want to dig and like mm -hmm. made me re like the idea of records and digging made me really excited. Just seeing that culture through him and seeing his records and seeing how like well he knew records and and then it also the process of making beats. It's like the way he can just kind of pull shit from his shelf mm -hmm. or go digging and then just have like three records within which he can make a beat just like that. You know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of shit is, um, it was just inspiring, you know? Yeah. And me. also, he's not the most sentimental dude, and he won't talk about feelings ever, but, like, you get this sense that, like... <laughs> I you was going to say, I was like, was is Bright kind like, is he kind of like... He, like you get this sense that he... Figure yeah, kind of like, you guys, get this sense like, that he you know, wants you to do well, and he wants yeah. to see you do well, but he'll never really say anything right. about yeah. anything, you know? So that's, that's hella yeah. cool. Yeah, he could be pretty But he'll be like, yo, but then he also he also this, will. Yeah. That would yeah. be a good idea. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come to a mic. I got a mic. All right. Wait, is it on? Yeah. Is he listening right now? Hello. Hello. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey. Shout out to Brycon. I like getting random texts from Brycon that aren't related to anything ever. Like, he'll just send me random words sometimes. It like it was send me like cucumbers. I'm like, yeah, man, I feel you, you know. And then we'll just talk for hell long through text, and it won't be about anything. We're just yeah, Brycon is a big texter, bro. He'll uh, just be like, "What's up?" I'm like, oh, "I'm just uh, at the house, <laughs> just chilling." He's like, "Oh, word, I just I'm just doing a session right now." I'm like, "All right, bro, that's what's up." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "You trying to link up tomorrow and do this and that?" I'm like, "Oh, that should work." He's like, "All right, cool." <laughs> <laughs> Come with the Facebook Messenger, though, man. Yeah, you also, yeah. <laughs> if you're on, Facebook yeah. Messenger. If he's on Facebook and he sees you online, he'll just hit you up. Him <laughs> and Liam be on Facebook Messenger, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta get on Facebook Messenger, guys. I can't be doing this group texting on my flip phone. It's not, yeah, Liam misses all it's the not group working. Text, dude. I get everything separately. I wake up with like thirty messages yeah. every day, and I just can't make any sense of anything. <laughs> Yeah, Look, that's I got right. 12 messages right now on that scene, and that's just from one thread. <laughs> so that's not, that's not our thread. I'm like, man. At least we're communicating. Yeah. yeah. We got to communicate. Yeah. What What was it like to come up with the live set? Uh, maybe, I mean, like, with yeah. Brycon, you know, as the yeah. DJ and that's whatnot. And like, I was going to ask, yeah, like, what do you guys, like, I, do up there? I can only speak to my Shut role. The fuck up. Uh, <laughs> 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 not like that like what right. is it that you're doing i mean for the beats of like for like for the live set that we have right now like <laughs> the two beats that i have on my computer are still beautiful in our solo joint right. and so i have like all the stems to that so i'm doing like for those ones i'm just like soloing the drums and dropping out the lows and soloing the yeah. low and then soloing the hi-hats and that shit can get really fun and then when you add liam playing the light bulb sample yeah. and i just and I, it sounds hella sick when i just solo like the lows and the sample comes on and i go yeah. like shit like that and then for the other songs liam has everything on his sp and i just went through my bank of sounds and just found sounds that matched um like as far as melody and harmonics 
uh, like they, they fit pitch pitch wise they fit and then they also just kind of as far as vibe goes they fit and i just kind of throw those in and whatnot and yep this is a trip how uh like we never it's just really dope and i just like how when shit comes together like that it's mm-hmm. just yeah. like when we thought of putting this group or whatever together and like brycon or whatever all of us it's just like we didn't envision that our performance would be that dope yeah on level of like production wise and all of us playing our part in that right. sense you know what i mean like <clears throat> or envisioning like yeah me monk and gable and martino on stage that's dope like especially my old ass like you know what i mean i'm not like trying to do that really you know what i mean like <laughs> at all you know what i'm saying but it's about the music it's about the message so. it's about you know moving forward so it's kind of like it's dope though you know what i mean like so i never envisioned like our performance being like that ill you know what i'm saying but it's like I don't know if I tripped off at our first uh, rehearsal when I was like, damn, this is kind of ill. Like, yeah. And Brycon is like, you know. Yeah, that's another Brycon idea. It yeah, was his idea mastermind. to have like a lot of live beats going on. Yeah, he's on. a mastermind behind that. Like, I've done performances with him and his shows, like how he does that by himself. You know what I mean? Like, when it's just, he would like take lows out, bring in, boom, boom, you know, double up the beat. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. certain tweaks that are like definitely uh, unique. <clears throat> it's dope too, because like, when we started off, we kind of just wanted to lock in a set and like just have all the beats kind of on my SP. But as time goes on, we're trying to like break up stems more, and we're just kind of gonna make it more and more yeah. dope as time goes on. It's something we're like it's a it's a continued process. Like we're getting the stems for for real dope and stuff like that. So it's gonna be cool to see how you can always improve on our shit. Yeah, how yeah, different you know, songs evolve. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So yeah, that's so dope. So dope. Yeah. And then on another note that's related to that, I don't. Once again, I missed the entire interview, but I think the watershed as a as a live performance is one of like the illest things I've yeah. ever seen. Like, and I can say that from like like standing on the sideline, not on the sidelines, but like from an outside perspective, is like yeah. someone who likes and, and the live performance and as a full album as a group. Like, this is like super original and hella like unique. Like, yeah. mul- like there's no fucking hip hop hip hop groups that I know of that has forty year olds, thirty year olds, and twenty year olds. Yeah, that's and then the <laughs> album speaks to say, like a specific city yeah. in the Bay Area as a place of like struggle and history and as, as a, a spot of culture and yeah. really like shines through on that yeah. and then also just speaks to like existence in, in, a, in a way but all you know what I mean like, it's just like a yeah, really special it's album yeah. it's just crazy like to yeah. be a part of this is like ridiculous yeah, yeah. very at the, grateful at, very at, grateful at the record release party Rosie made a joke to me she was just like y'all are really funny to see all at once on stage because <laughs> So it's, it's just it's just very visually exciting because you're all so different from each other. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's pretty yeah. true. It's like a really diverse view of the city, and it's not just looking at it from one angle, like just the politics or just the music or just the records. It has all of that from different perspectives, which I think is really dope. Yeah. I have a sneak feature on the album. You have a what? I have a sneak feature on the album. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh yeah, you guys gotta ask Mike questions. And Brycon is rapping on the album too. What? Yeah. Oh yeah. Brycon raps on the album. He's you gotta find it. Yeah. Yeah. Let him Seriously? For like, for like one. He's, he's on it, man. Like a like a. It's Cuddy, but it's it's there. It's def- you gotta listen to the whole album. It's just, it's definitely there, and it's like you know it's it's a part of the song for sure. Yeah. You gotta find yeah. it though. Damn. Whoever finds it listening right now gets a free it's Watershed pretty, it's album. It's pretty easy to find. If you find that and <laughs> call that number, <laughs> what's the number, Jay? 415 no, 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 no. You gotta follow us and hit our DM. Follow us on yep. Instagram, the Watershed 415 yeah. and send in the song that Brycon raps on, and I'll give you a hug and a free CD. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the hug. How long is the hug? <laughs> 10 yeah. seconds. It's gotta be 10 seconds, man. Yeah. You gotta hit the double digit hug. <laughs> and you can be on the shed IG story and you can be a part of the watershed too you can like rap hella much right? <laughs> shout out to this person who found the one part of the album that Brad Kong raps on bro. they're now a part of the watershed they're, they're now shed <laughs> they're shed <laughs> hashtag Brad Kong raps <laughs> the watershed is hella beautiful though like from the from the outside looking in and from inside the group text 
it's pretty <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty tight well cause I put him in there on accident one time yeah and then uh, it's just there forever and it's it's yeah, fine yeah, Mike's more than I, just, I just feel like <laughs> Sam made jokes to me earlier today it's funny cause we'll be hella stressed out about something and then I'll just say one word and be like I forgot Mike is in this text <laughs> <laughs> like all of these messages which I do I wake up to like 20 text messages yeah. from different groups that I'm day, wake up yeah bro like, yeah. every morning for the last like month I've woken up to messages from the watershed group text yeah. <laughs> it's like alright cool yeah, that's good, time to work I like uh, that but y'all are dope though y'all are very beautiful uh, yeah. group group of people yeah, you too, man. Thank you. Yeah, it's cool. Everybody gets their little moments and stuff, too, because everybody's got their songs. But, you know, throughout the set, it's like, oh, okay, like, you know, it's not like scattered. It's like you guys have focuses on each moment of the show. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Definitely. You know, yeah, like, and then the future is looking dope, you know, because this first one was like Equipto and Bracon Present. And I think in the future, it's going to be like an even larger collective. Mm. So just, a, I don't like to imagine what that looks like is kind of unimaginable. So it'd be cool to kind of see that come together. Mm hmm. Are there, uh, is there anything coming up that people should be looking out for? Yeah, the ocean shed. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped his phone on that one. <laughs> Mic drop. Oh, my God. No, the no, not the, the British office. shed. Next album, the tool shed. Tool uh, shed. <laughs> we're, um, we all have hella albums. Aqua Hut. Yeah. Where's your guys' next three performances? Oh, good yeah, question. Yeah, you guys have performances. Uh, Elbow Room in Oakland, right? The 26th. There's an elbow room in Oakland? Yeah. He has a new yeah, elbow room in Oakland. Then the uh, wow. uh, Ju July 8th. Oh, we got the uh, good ones. Go ahead. My bad. Oh, uh, yeah. July 8th uh, at the Hotel Utah for Professor Gable's album release party. What? Hey. Hey. And then what, what were you going to say, Queasy? Um, I was going to say the Patience Show, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's June 29th? 29th, I thought. 29th? I knew it was a 9 somewhere where's that at Role. shout out to Role. Role. It's oh, Role. A, yeah Las Duenas Watershed that's the 29th uh, June 29th that's like next month is it June 29th yeah June 20th I'm looking at the flyer okay dope June 29th Friday yeah Watershed show Las Duenas that should be dope Dregs too Role. oh yeah Dregs one hell yeah I think we Same might cool yeah there's some shows yeah, coming up but. We, got a, we got a good amount of shows coming up nice any uh any you wanna any projects, single Videos individual coming. projects, still beautiful, still individual beautiful video coming. Yep, video, video, video yes, yeah, st uh, still beautiful videos coming. Don't tell them when because we don't. It's know. not coming okay. at any specific time, but it's basically just, done. Just look out for it. It's I got a beat tape out. It's called Thirty Three Top of the Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can find it anywhere. It's on iTunes. Too. It's on iTunes and all that. iTunes, this Spotify, is Liam, though, right here. And I got a beat Bam. tape coming mid June. Meditate. Ooh, beat tape. Oh shit. The meditate beat tape. Yes, yes. Sick. Heard some of those tracks today, I think, at uh at, 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 at uh, aviation. Oh yeah, I played a couple of things off that at Aviator Nation. I'm just working on the tape order and stuff like that. What's up with Monk's album? What you, what you dropping? Oh, yeah, I'm out to Jay Electronic. I ain't never dropped in blood, but nah. <laughs> nah, nah, my album's called Safe Travels. Um, I'm, I'm finishing it up right now. I was actually just doing taking notes today, actually, on some mixes. So I'm go I got to go back and finish mixing my project. But it's done. I got like 16 joints. Nice. Uh, solo joints, you know what I mean? Yeah. Equipto's on there. Yeah, we got um, a dope one on City Life. Yeah. Did you produce all of it? I produced majority of it. I got my homie AL on the beat. He produced hundreds. And, um, yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's the only beat that I have it, that I didn't produce on the album. Uh, but me and, me and Everclear went in on the whole album. Just me and him, pretty much. But, yeah, man, that should be coming out probably by August for sure. Dope, August. Yeah. All right. And just for the one time, where can people find you individually? IG fucking IG is baghead1 B A G G H E A D 1 and my band camp is on there okay go, go support my band camp bro anybody else shout out there shout out their page follow these people professor gable professor gable spelled with a, a at the end of professor <coughs> and it's G A B E L 
And it's never G A B L E ever. Respell. Don't get it twisted. Professor, Professor. Gable. G- Gable, not Gable. Not Gable. <laughs> <laughs> not like Clark Gable. Mm. Gable. I'm um, Mc- McStravick four one five on Instagram, and that links to the other shit. Uh, M C S T R A V I C K four one five. Nice. Shout uh, out Evan. Yo, Smokey. Shout out Evan. Equipto is very equipped up. Word. All right, well. Everybody loves Mike. Um, we just have a few oh, moments bye. left, and uh, I want to close out the show by playing another song. But um, I yeah, guess, I yeah, we could play anything. Like you know, We played both your songs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Is there anything else you want to play? We heard Hella Records. Uh, I don't think we did that one yet, so we could do that. Um, That's a good one. Working on a video for that, too. Hey. Retro? You can listen to Chips. Hello, Records. Oh, shit. Listen to what? Oh, the Chips. You guys played Timmy, right? Yeah. yeah Mike Evans, we, we talked about Timmy. earlier. Mm. Yeah, really Go watch very own. own. Made the video. <laughs> yeah. We can All right. close yeah. out with Timmy too. Yeah, so um, we, we have the, the couple more songs queued up from the Watershed album. Uh, thank you again yeah. to uh, Professor Gable, Monk HTS, Le- Mixtravic, Baghead, MC Paws, Equipto, uh, Brycon. You know, he's he's here too. Everybody, uh, follow me everybody else, MC Paws, Side 4. C P A U Z E. Or P A U Z E. Uh, <laughs> on Instagram and SoundCloud. Or thanks, uh, thanks everybody else. Thanks to Evan Roland for coming O-D-D. through. Roland, Evan, Evan came out here and uh, yeah. So uh, Thank that was, you, that was DJ an old show. Jima and Syph for interviewing us. Yep, right on, y'all. Yep. Um, Appreciate so it. So check out the album right. anywhere: yeah. Apple Music, Bandcamp, because it's in the building. Roland Split in the building. Yep, and uh, Bandcamp. We'll see you uh, next weekend. Old Soul Radio. Shit. 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 Hey, hand me that record, Brian. Let me see. That's hella dope, bro. What's that? Oh, shit. That was fifty dollars. Right? Okay. Found an old 45 with a dusty loop It's in tradition of crack digging It's something that we love to do A little scratch with a crackly flute Randomly I found a sample that black sheep used I was excited like a kid over quarter measures What even made it better? My dad had hella records Told me to treat him precious I'm fascinated by abstraction Eric Dolphy, Oliver Lake, Anthony Braxton Found hella stacks out of store in the boonies Little homie didn't understand what it meant to me Broke it down for a minute, but he didn't really get it Thought Puff Daddy's song came out Before the message, even Ice Cube's version It took him by surprise, I said Realize every artist been inspired By somebody prior It's a hip-hop story, it's a given The description they give it in category It's the end, all the differences in generation gaps We just ask you pay respect to those That never made it back, or those that laid a path We can find an understanding If not, I don't care, we gon' keep on sampling Gurb City got hella records, baby Solidarity yeah, got oh, hella records, baby. Really Star Bakery got yeah, hella records, baby. Some of y'all got a couple records, maybe. Some of y'all got a couple records, maybe. This one goes to my record, cause we truncate the drum break. Three tracks in one day, love making the beat. Complete and cupcake, searching for a certain version. At Groove Merchant, a tad bit expensive, but definitely worth it. Purchase a bunch from the dollar bin. Couple originals, X Clan and Common Sense Audio 2. Turntables and some headphones to listen. Just peeping how they DJ mixing. Reminiscing off of Bobby G's, off of Marker Street on the Kona. He's always had the dopest posters. Roll the ocean to creative music with Joe's Wall of Fame of photos. Looking through the box of free promos. Tapes all dusty, all in the mids, sounding fuzzy. He's lucky that he found that. He said it's hella cut. He wanna transfer the digital, bring more appeal, but losing that original feel. It's a give and take deal to preserve it. Tripping off the lifespan of hard work where you're forced to use a price tag. Forget the argument of what air is better. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. Man, 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 some of y'all got a couple records, maybe. This one goes to my record collection. My record collection. Yeah.